Whoa, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to do some creek chub fishing. We're gonna be eating creek chub for the first time on this channel. So I hope you guys are excited. I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch them. It's early in the morning. It's only like 5.45 right now. And it's still pretty early for these creek chub to come into these pockets. The sun does help a lot, but we're gonna try our best to catch these fish and like cook it for breakfast because I am hungry. Let's get right into it. Stay tuned. For the bait that I am using today is Big red worm right here. I gotta hide my face so I focus. Big red worm, um, super simple, just on a hook and just drifted in the current there. Uh, some pockets that I know of and hopefully they, they take it. Hopefully they're there right now. I don't know yet, so you give it a shot. All right, so they are nice and lively. I think we're gonna go with half this time because we're just creature fishing. We're not necessarily fishing for bigger fish yet. Although I would like to. It is a beautiful, beautiful spot today. I hope my um, I hope my mic doesn't glitch out on me because I have this string around my neck, around my mic here. Oh, I got one! Nice, super tiny guy. I'll wait for a bigger one. There we go. Okay, getting better. I'll take this one. I'll start throwing them in a bucket just for good luck. I'll show you guys what a creek chub is. I'm gonna keep them pinned, that way I can hold them still. Oh, oh, relax. Well, they're very crazy. They're crazy fish, man. You see that right there? These are creek chub. Yep. They get bigger than this too. Caught some bigger ones recently, but I'm gonna eat those small ones. Oh, we got one. And, oh, a much better size. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Because I'm hungry, you know? Look at that thing. It's freaking mosquito. Isn't that cool? Look at the, the forehead. You guys can see it, but it has some bumps. Oh, relax, relax, show you. They're super vicious, too. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll uh, put this guy in the bucket. He's a good eater. Okay. They get bigger than this, letting you guys know. Fish, eh? Well, just got a smallie. We're gonna eat them. Just kidding. Oh gosh. There we go. Oh, and it falls. It's alright. Not the bigger ones. Oh, another one. Guess we'll keep them. These small ones are like french fries. Oh, relax, chill. Don't move out of my hand. Super feisty. I was trying to sit down and be super stealth, but apparently they don't care, so. Little guy, okay. Could defry you, but yeah, I will let you go so you can grow. There we go. All right, see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Maybe 10. I'll take 10. Nope, not 10 yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move a couple of rocks. And create like a oh wait, I might be able to do it over there. 
Uh, I don't know though. It's kind of close to the forest. I mean, mosquitoes gonna wreck me. The cleanest spot is like right here. And the shade too. Yeah, let's move some rocks together. Let's put some rocks. Let's form like a little wall, you know? I'm not starting a fire or anything. I just need flat surface to put my grill on. So I'm gonna put some rocks right here. Right here. Make it nice and even. We need some flat surface rock too. The bigger the surface, the better. Just make sure there's no leech. I hate leech. Okay. There's this one right here. Go. Maybe this one over here. That should be big enough. Let's see. Like I said, it's just for this guy, so. Oh yeah, it's perfect. So look at that. But we're not gonna take this out just yet. I'm going to uh, gut the fish, clean it, and I'll show you guys what we're doing. Oh man, it's getting freaking hot out here, dude. Super hot. Yeah, sorry, lighting's kind of bad, but just bear with me. The sun is like coming, it's just coming up, so it's kind of hard to position myself here. We're gonna gut them in here so they don't escape. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Take scissors, all right, forgot to mention. It's easier with scissors because they're so small and slimy. Just got them like that. Just peel all that gut out. You don't have to scale them or anything, guys. You don't have to get everything out. It's totally fine. Just depends how clean you want it, I guess. Alright, that guy's in. I'm gonna go for the other one. Let me just zoom in real quick. Next fish. Let's go with the bigger guy. Nope, chill, chill. This guy's really strong. Cut all the way to the head there. Let's peel back. Just use your thumb, just push everything out just like that. Get all the guts, the air bubble, stuff out. It's gonna take a little while. I got about 10 in here, so just bear with me. I'll cut it here and there for you guys. Just like that. Just use your finger, you push it up, push it backward. I think it should come out. Them. Nice and fresh, just like that. Yeah. Nice, clean, yummy fish. Yeah, the inside. They don't have to be perfect because you're gonna fry them up anyways, and they're gonna be like super crunchy. So. All right, my stuff here. Like plastics. I'm not putting them somewhere. I brought salt and garlic. I'm just gonna do salt first. I'm gonna rinse it with salt first. Just gonna salt them up in here. Just gonna shake it up. I would rather use sea salt, but I didn't bring sea salt, which is fine. It's okay. Rinse, completely rinse all the, the salt off. We're gonna salt it one more time, but just wanna make sure we got enough. I don't wanna use the, the, the river water, you know? <laughs> yeah, so that should be good enough. I'm actually let them out for a little bit, let them dry up. Yeah, there we go, they're nice and clean. Very clean, put them on the the little top here so they can dry up a little bit. So we're just gonna let them dry out. We're gonna fish a little bit and let them dry out. Yep. So what I got here, they've been salted, rinsed, and they're just gonna sit out and dry out for a little bit. I'm gonna fish for like five minutes 
and they should be ready. They should be ready to be uh, salted again and put some garlic powder in it and we're gonna fry it up. So yeah. go guys nice creature all right so now what we're gonna do next I'll put them in this bag here oh 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 almost fell off you can go as simple as just saw black pepper you do not have to go fancy just turn this thing down here just a little bit because you can add more after you, you know, make it, shake it up, I'm all salted. We're going to add a little bit of garlic, and you already know, MSG, <laughs> just a little bit. A couple drop of MSG, right? Shake it all up. Alright, so guys. I've been meaning to like wanting to do this for you guys. It's because I grew up doing this. I grew up cooking fish uh, with my dad, right? My dad, he's always been prepping us like creek chubs out of the river and uh, it's been like amazing. You know, I love eating creek chub. They're delicious, they're easy to make. You can catch them just about any river system here, like where, where I'm from. I've been wanting to do this now that I'm learning more and I'm doing it more often. Uh, I can. I feel like I'm ready to show you guys like what this is all about. I just love coming out here, catching a couple of fish, doing catch and cook. Uh, they're delicious. I enjoy doing it, and I hope you guys are too. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into it. It's boiling, so let's just turn it down just a little bit. We're gonna drop this in there. All right, so I think it's ready. Oof, I hate putting stuff in oil, but I like it sometimes. Oh yeah, it's ready. Ah, it's ready. It's ready. Yep, yep, it's ready. Pop it. Pop, pop. Yep, just throw it all in there. <laughs> no specific way. Alright, so if you look here, this is what they look like. They start to belly up like that and they get really crispy. Um, yeah, man, it's as good as it gets. Oh, they smell so good. I'm excited, man. I gotta hurry before the sun comes right on top of me. It's gonna get real hot. They smell delicious. Look at that, guys. The finished product of creek chub fish. Catch and cook creek chub, I mean. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely golden. Man, move, fly. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, we're gonna let this uh, cool down and then we're gonna dump it in that bottle again. Do not dump that on the floor or in the water. It's not good for the system. Uh, just put it right back where you got it from. Just let it cool off. It should be good. Uh, what you can do also is put the pot like in a puddle of water so it cools off faster. And then you can dump it into the bottle because don't pour that right away in the bottle. That bottle's gonna melt. So lesson learned, all right? Right on here so it cools off a little bit. Yep, just like that. I'm actually really excited to eat this because they're delicious. Look at that. I gotta hide my face on focus. Nice tasty creep chop. Just the whole thing. Mmm. So fatty, uh, salty, garlicky. They don't taste fishy at all. Just eat the whole thing. Mmm. That's so good. Let me eat all the small one first. Just like that. Look at that. The whole thing. Mm. That's so good. Unbelievable. If you haven't tried creek chop before, it's like the best appetizer. Like I said, with some pepper on it, it's over. But. I don't want to be eating pepper in the morning. <laughs> Still got a long day ahead of myself. Mm. I said these little ones, they are my favorite of all time. I like french fries. The whole thing.
whole thing. Just. Mm. Unbelievable. Wow. Just like I remember. This guy too. Mm. I wish I had some rice with it, you know? Take the head off. They got so much meat in them. This bone stuff. Spin. On the bigger one, the bone is a little thicker. You can still eat it if you want to. I'm not going to because <laughs> I don't want to choke. <laughs> but the meat is very flaky. See how flaky it is? Super flaky. Except with some pepper. Look, the bones, everything. Rib cage. So so good. Look, the whole thing. Mm. Wow. Just like that. Is that fast? Is that easy? Simple and delicious. Wow. And so I feel amazing now. <laughs> I'm re-energized. We're gonna go and try to catch more creature for you guys just to watch. Maybe like five or ten more. Uh, I'll try to just find the big ones. There's a ton of little ones, so excuse those. But let's go catch some more fish. It's super fun, super tasty. You gotta try. Stay tuned. Oh, there you are. Nice. Right behind me. Chill. Jeez, 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 jeez. <laughs> Relax, dude. <laughs> Look at that. So cool. So tasty. Oh my gosh, dude, they're right behind me. Oh, dude, they're even bigger. Cool. There you go, there's another one. Oh, shoot. okay, okay. Dude, they're right here. I thought they were in the deeper current. Oh, dude, oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh. Makes you so happy. Man, I want to keep some so bad, but I'll keep them next time. Another nice. Okay. Oh my gosh. One after another. One after another. <laughs> they just go nuts in your hands. Look at this. Look at this. Unbelievable. They're pretty big. Good eaters. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. So much fun. Chill, chill. Going back right in there. So there's a ton of them. Let's go. Oh, dude, this is a, I think it's a shiner. No, it's a creature. chub. Thought I had a shiner. Chill. Look at the body difference. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Freaking fish are insane. Oh, look at this guy. He's gold. Jeez. Man, you're crazy. Selfie. Absolutely cool fish.